One of the greatest fears of the modern era, due to its potential to cause an apocalyptic scenario never seen before is that of the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Though many may not be aware of its dangers, it appears to pose one of the greatest realistic changes of wiping out the majority of life on Earth, and possibly lead to the extinction of the human race. So today we'll be going over the massive supervolcano and what exactly would occur if it erupted. Immediate Massive Destruction and Seismic Activity Referred to by scientists as a catastrophic super-eruption, the force and material that would be ejected from the massive Yellowstone supervolcano, if it were to erupt would be among one of the largest explosions to ever be recorded on the face of the Earth. When looking at estimated comparisons of this pressure and ejected of magma compared to that of Mount St. Helens explosion, of which was claimed to be the equivalent to the blasting force of 1,600 times the size of the atomic weapon dropped on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. It appears that the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would be roughly 10,000 times larger. This is in estimated cubic kilometers than that of the eruption of Mount St. Helens, roughly equivalent to that of 300,000 explosions the size of the atomic weapon dropped on Hiroshima. What this essentially translates to would be the immediate ejection of more than 2,500 cubic kilometers of ash, magma and materials, a size much larger than that of the 0.25 cubic kilometers ejected after the Mount St. Helens eruption. Though the supervolcano isn't expected to cause a massive upheaval of land, rather than that of a large amount of volcanic magma, ash and materials ejected from its focus point and cone, this large amount of pressure being released will still cause a blast wave that can cause damage out past the state of Wyoming, Idaho and Montana. Additionally, the Yellowstone supervolcano lies close to a number of sensitive fault lines all across the west coast. It's believed that this massive amount of pressure released in one moment, coupled with the massive amount of force generated via the super eruption, will create a domino effect of seismic activity that could lead to fault lines completely sliding in opposite directions causing a number of massive earthquakes all across the west coast. The earthquakes would be some of the largest ever to have been recorded, and would only lead to further damage of roads, highway, cities and nearby constructions, completely blocking off those affected from reaching the help they would need. The Eruption of Numerous Volcanoes the eruption of the massive Yellowstone supervolcano will do much more than just emit a large amount of materials from the volcano itself. It's predicted that the massive amount of force and pressure released by the volcano will trigger other pockets of magma to release nearby, in quick forming shafts that will grow in size throughout the volcano's eruption. Though scientists are aware of the fact that the eruption of a volcano cannot trigger the eruption of nearby volcanoes, in the event of a supervolcano in its eruption, the incredibly large amount of force and material buildup will lead to a pocket of nearby magma vents to form, creating a number of normal volcanic entities that will also spew out a large amount of volcanic materials. Though technically speaking the Yellowstone supervolcano is not triggering other dormant volcanoes, it will continue to form these vents of which will grow in size and will appear to be similar to that of smaller volcanoes having formed. It's also believed that with a large enough tectonic plate shift, caused by the overwhelming seismic activity that will be caused by the forces of the eruption behind the supervolcano. A number of large events could form along the ridges of the shifting tectonic plates. If these plates shift enough, not only would there be a number of massive earthquakes, but there could be a number of newly formed volcanic entities all along the entire west coast. In essence, this means that the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would lead to a number of following eruptions. Newly formed magma vents and a domino effect of seismic activity that would cause the formation of new active volcanoes all along the entirety of the west coast of the United States, of which will only exacerbate the issues that spawn from ejected material, damage and spewing ash. A Global Cooling Event Researchers found that after the eruption of a supervolcano, it's often been recorded there tends to be a massive cooling event that occurs around the world. This is due to the fact that the ejection of a large amount of volcanic ash causes a global darkness event, preventing the planet from sufficiently warming up and causing a global ice age. This also appears to have been the case a mere 100,000 years ago, when the Toba super eruption occurred and nearly drove humanity to extinction. 
prior to this event there was an estimated 1 million human population. After the event took place there was only 11,000 humans left, of which caused a massive bottleneck effect that allows us to see the time in which such an event took place. Additionally, this account occurred when the Toba super eruption caused a global blackout that lasted for more than 10 years. During this time, a massive ice age occurred in an atmospheric cooling event that lasted for over 1,000 years. Given these calculations, it's expected that if the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt in the modern day, the amount of ash spewed would travel through the atmosphere and block out the sun from all around the world, leading to a modern day ice age that would prevent the sun from being seen for 6 or 7 years in total creating a seemingly endless darkness for all life on Earth, and record low temperatures never before recorded. Worldwide crops dying out One of the main problems of the global cooling event is not that of the drop in temperatures all around the world, but rather that of its effects on crops on a massive global scale. With this expected worldwide blackout, researchers believe that for more than 6-7 to seven years, it will be impossible for farmers around the world to grow any kind of produce or grain. This also means that it will be impossible for farmers to take care of livestock of any kind. Considering the fact that agriculture is the lowest rung on the ladder of economic scale, this would lead to disastrous effects on the industry, development construction effects feeding citizens and the global economy. Essentially, there would be mass starvation all across the world, as people would raid grocery stores for the last remaining food. Additionally, the blackout would lead to a number of wildlife populations immediately dying out as their habitats became destroyed, meaning that hunting and foraging will become impossible to sustain. Even a number of off-grid living situations would be massively affected, as the majority of doomsday preppers living on homesteads rely on local agriculture. Solar panels for power along with a number of other supplies that require their local habitats remaining intact. With these changes, the blackout will reach everywhere around the world, making no place safe enough to withstand such changes. Not only will this lead to riots within the short term, but it will overwhelmingly lead to the shutdown of government, civilization, and order itself. As mass starvation circles the globe, the human population will be expected to drop by 95%, as the most developed countries will be affected the worst and the least developed countries will adapt the fastest. A total economic shutdown. A lack of crops from around the world. The breakdown of infrastructure. Inability to travel across damaged roads throughout the United States. As well as the complete six to seven years of darkness that would follow the eruption means that at the end of these initial damages, the entire world would begin to enter a stage of total economic shutdown. This will first begin at the center of damaged cities and the inability for governments from around the world to offer aid of any kind. As the volcanic ash spreads and brings darkness around the world, it will only take three days before all of the grocery stores run empty, as the shipping trucks fail to deliver necessary goods. After this occurs, raiding of supplies will quickly begin as the needs of people from around the world and starvation will begin. This panic will cause the total breakdown of all law and authority as people center around their individual needs. The inability would then quickly follow of farmers being unable to grow and harvest crops along with many crops around the world immediately dying out. The only chance one would have at outlasting such an event would require them to have created an underground facility, of which wouldn't be affected by the large amounts of falling ash, the threatening panic of other people fighting for resources, as well as the storage of enough food, water and supplies to last for seven years. Considering such a safe room does not exist for most, of which even most doomsday preppers only store enough food for six months to a year. Outlasting such an event will prove to be impossible. Not only does this risk the extinction of all human life on our planet, but Earth will see a cooling event that lasted another 1,000 years, followed by six to seven years of darkness. But what do you think of these unfortunate events that would occur if the Yellowstone supervolcano did erupt? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. As always, thank you for watching.